your grace, my lords, my lord mayor, your worships, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is an historic occasion. <laughs> On behalf of the citizens of this very fine town, we thank him from the bottom of our heart. Grace, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, I have already in the, uh, in the uh, council chamber received in a formal manner the freedom of Brighton and uh, I now in your presence have received from the mayor <coughs> this beautifully inscribed scroll. I have very uh, many memories of uh, Brighton. I uh, always feel that the impressions of childhood's days are especially vivid and important when you look back to them at the end of a long life. <clears throat> I was nearly three years at school here, or rather in Hove, <laughs> um, but the, uh, they're extending the East Brighton shore. Rotting Dean you may reach by a drive along the beach and the landslips will trouble no more. <laughs> the first week of July 1940, I came to see General Montgomery who commanded the famous 3rd Division, which was at that time spread uh, along more than 30 miles of the coast. This was the invasion front. Invasion was said to be imminent. We, we, we dined alone, a small party, four or five of us, in uh, the Royal Albion Hotel, which was otherwise almost deserted. And I, looking out of the window, saw the, the pier where the old train pier used to stand, having disposed of all our enemies abroad, now confronted with very hard times and very difficult times. The, uh, it, uh, <laughs>
and so the Grenadier Guards, sandbagging the kiosk at the end and making loopholes in it to repel a landing. And this was, as it seemed to me, though perhaps my memory was at fault because a new pier had replaced the old, but this was the, the kiosk, which in my young days I had always known was devoted to the performing fleas. <laughs> It uh, has most beautiful, uh, beautiful jade casket which you have presented to me, which uh, I shall always keep as an heirloom, and also for a, uh, a very fine chair of ancient workmanship, which uh, will always be cherished by me and my wife and by uh, those who uh, come after us. I thank you most sincerely for all your kindness. I uh, have assured the mayor that I will acquit myself as a, 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 a free man of Brighton with all due decorum and fidelity. <laughs> May I conclude these uh, unstudied remarks in which I thought I might indulge in personal reminiscence, may I conclude by wishing you all in this famous watering place, this uh, scene of uh, brilliant sunshine and blue water, this centre of all Sussex, uh, live to see the exertions of war rewarded by their prizes and feel that they are once again placing old England and Britain in a proper place in the world. <laughs>